I want to repeat some words out of a poem written by Liz Develt Middleton. You YouTubers, you can look them up. This is a call and response, so repeat after me. Sharpen your eyes. Sharpen your eyes. Tune your ears. Tune your ears. So you know what you see. So you know what you see. And understand what you hear. And understand what you hear. You see, year after year since King moved to the realm of the ancestors, we've gotten some washed down versions of what the real man really was about and how he evolved over his precious time here. I'll tell you this much. Go on YouTube, and while people talk about wake and woke, I need you to look for a speech he did only four days before he was assassinated. He did this speech at a cathedral in Washington, D.C., and the name of the speech, listen carefully, is Remaining Awake Through a Great Revolution. And you can hear Dr. King from his own mouth speaking the truth instead of those of we who kind of have a watered down version of speaking for him. With that said, another great storyteller named Dr. John Henry Clark once said, history is a clock by which a people can tell their social, cultural, and political time of day. It is also a compass on the map of human geography. History tells the people what they were and who they were. History also tells the people what they still must do, what they still must be. The relationship of history to the people is the same as the relationship of a mother to the child. And don't settle for just history.